Hello guys, Trogdar here again with another redstone tutorial. What I have for you today is my auto sugar cane farm. Uh, it's actually semi-auto because you have to load the bone meal yourself. Uh, but basically all it is is... Uh, you flip this switch and it will automatically grow the sugar cane and harvest the top two blocks for you. Uh, on Pocket Edition, uh, bone meal will grow sugar cane. So that's why this uh, farm will only work on Pocket Edition. Uh, so basically, that will just keep on going. This will stop the clock. And we got that. It is almost 100% efficient. I later found out that there are some instances where you'll have either two more blocks or two less blocks. So it averages to being 100% efficient. It, it's weird. But uh, let's uh, get on with the tutorial. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put four five blocks yeah five blocks your sands gonna go here so we're going to just put a chest right here and we're going to take these two blocks out too because we're going to be putting hoppers in there now and there you go just one hopper going into the chest and another hopper going into that hopper now I made that one look a little bit more pretty I'm just going to show you how to make it function and then you can decorate it however you want so after you get that second hopper there you can put a block over that hopper so you have a solid line right here is where our sands going to be and to do this, we're going to have to do something because we're going to put a minecart with hopper inside the sand. So the way I like to do it, in survival at least, let's see, I need some sand. And well, I'll grab red sand, but you can use regular sand too, it doesn't really matter. Uh, once we get pistons, you could even use grass, but right now this is the only way you can do it. So what I like to do, and since it's going to be contained within this spot, and I'll tell you why you need this extra spot. Water will go here, but I put a temporary block on top of that. So we'll just I'll use sand because it's easy to break anyways. Then I put a track on top of it. And then the minecart with hopper on top of that. And this is for pocket edition because it can be hard to hit the hitbox of that track. So instead you just break the block underneath the track and it automatically breaks it. And you got your hopper with my or minecart with hopper uh, placed in the right position. Now to get your sand into that, you just place a block right here. And then you put sand right there. And now you got a minecart with hopper inside your sand. And we're going to delete that block. Now we're going to take, because we're not going to need these rails anymore. We're going to take a bucket of water. Put water there. And that's so we can place sugar cane there. Because otherwise you won't be able to place it there. Next, we're going to get out our dispensers. We're going to put one facing right there. And then we're going to come up a block and face one like that. And then we can go ahead and just fill these blocks in right here. And the ceiling will be right here because sugar cane can grow three tall, so three blocks right there. So we'll go ahead and just do this. 
leave this block right there open so you can access the inventory so you can just directly put bone meal into that now we're going to need some sugar cane you just need to put one there for right now uh, actually I'm gonna put two or all three right there just because it will make the first batch correct because otherwise you'll have two less uh, let's see I like putting glass out in the front of that so you can see it looks pretty cool next you're going to I'm just going to bring the walls all the way up because we're going to have a switch over here and we're going to have to use this side so now we're going to get into the redstone of it and you're going to put a block right next to that dispenser and we're just going to make a little platform okay now coming out of that block right there uh, the dispenser is right behind it so coming out of that you're going to put a comparator down put it in subtract mode that means that little torch on the front has to be on uh, next we're going to take a repeater coming out of that comparator put a block in front of that repeater take redstone dust put it there a repeater there on four ticks and then two more dust right there we're not going to end up putting anything on that part of the platform so we'll delete that uh, so that will create a clock whenever there's stuff inside that dispenser and since this is hooked up to this block it will the clock will automatically dispense what's in that dispenser which will be bone meal now we just need to get a double pulse hitting this every clock tick and to do that I'm going to go up put a block right behind it or right behind the dispenser one down right here let's see we're going to have to come out a little bit more I'm going to take a comparator place it right there put it in subtract mode I think that's right yeah put it in subtract mode put a repeater right there on four ticks facing that way put redstone dust all along these you're not going to need that block uh, then bring the redstone up like that and into that and that will dispense your water and this right here will create two pulses every clock tick which will basically just dispense the water and pick it up really fast so let's go ahead and put our bucket of water in there and now we want a manual shut off so we're going to go ahead and grab our lever go put it right there I'm going to how did I do this and then we're going to just go like that turn it on redstone dust right through there and then two repeaters going into that and that will lock the comparator so it won't dispense anything that should and I say should be it let me just take a look and make sure it's working okay it should work so let's go ahead and get a stack of bone meal out uh, it should be in here Put a stack of bone meal into this dispenser and since this is on it actually locks the 
comparator so it shuts the machine off let's take our track out of that so it's completely empty and let's turn it on and just like that it's dispensing the water and bringing it back really fast and dispensing the bone meal in perfect unison and we'll have that go in there so yeah that's uh my auto sugarcane farm i hope you like the build if you enjoyed the video uh, please leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching have a nice day guys